Hey folks, this is Brian with day one of Chaosium Con. Went to a couple seminars this morning, which were interesting. And then uh, I ran, I didn't run, I played today. I played a uh, game of Pendragon and a game of Call of Cthulhu. I'm actually in two Call of Cthulhu games. Um, I picked these two games because these are games that I will be running at Gen Con, so I figured it'd be nice to get know other GM's takes on this on the game before or the scenario before actually running it um, it was kind of interesting for the Call of Cthulhu game because uh, the GM adjusted the uh, environment from apparently it was supposed to be in Sri Lanka a tea tea plantation in Sri Lanka and he changed it into a tequila farm in Texas uh, but the Keto Farm in Texas worked out, you know, fine with what was going on with the scenario. So it was interesting. Um, but I did not realize that that was a change. He talked about changes on, on tea and stuff. And I didn't know what he meant until at the end, everybody was talking about, you know, the different changes and stuff. Like, oh, really? Because I had never heard this scenario before. Uh, Pendragon uh, was one that I've run before. But I wanted to see how other people run Pendragon. And... Um, there was something that just did not seem right. So I'm going to have to go back and check on the rules. The mounted combat that we ran into, uh, the GM was having us add the mount damage, 66, to the um, personal weapon damage, which is generally 5d6. Uh, my character's was 4d6, right? So we're talking eleven d six on a normal hit. That's thirty five points of damage on an average roll. You know, ten, ten. My damage that I would have done would have been thirty five. In fact, I did. I, I my character did a, did a charge attack with a lance on one of the the Saxon knights, and you know, averaging thirty five points of damage, armor absorbing ten. That's twenty five points of damage. That's generally most people's hit points definitely past their constitution and well past and well past you know knockdown range so <clears throat> I'd always played that it was the mounts damage that you did instead of your own damage but I'm going to go back and check that because that just did not make sense to me <clears throat> that's that's just, that's like getting a crit every single round and then if you crit on top of that 22 dice of damage yeah it just it just does not make sense but that's what it was. I, I, you know, was playing just to have fun. I sat in the back and I didn't really, you know, push things because you know other players were there to, you know, run the gameplay and have fun. And I did that anyway. But uh, that's it. Day one of Chaosium Con. Happy. Oh, I did manage to run into Seth Sorkowski, uh, Jam, and Evan, which are, are there three uh, YouTubers that I follow. I wanted specifically to meet here. I could have sworn there was a fourth one, but I forgot the card I wrote everybody's name down on, so I could try to remember who, who they were. Um, but I didn't have my phone with me, so I didn't bother taking pictures. <laughs> but I'll do that. Hopefully, I'll see them tomorrow. Although, I've got a full day tomorrow. I'll be running, I'll be running. I'll be playing in Jeff's RuneQuest game. And then I will be running uh, Eye of the Storm RuneQuest. And then I'll be playing in another Call of Cthulhu game. But a good day. Happy gaming.